In 1793, there was a terrible yellow fever epidemic. 10% of the entire population of Philadelphia died. It was the nation's capital of the time. You had a lot of politicians. And both Alexander and his wife Eliza contracted the yellow fever. And luckily, Edward Stevens had just moved to the city. And he had had a lot of experience, not only with yellow fever outbreaks, in Edinburgh, but then in St. Croix, it's also very prevalent, uh, the disease, and so he came with a new treatment. And Hamilton was so impressed by this treatment that was different than the main one that was being used that he writes a letter to the College of Physicians of Philadelphia saying that he had, he had had the yellow fever, but he trusts that I am now completely out of danger. This I am to attribute under God to the skill and care of my friend, Dr. Stevens. So remember, he had just moved a few months prior to Philadelphia, wasn't well known, and so Hamilton wanted to make sure that he could get a reputation and be uh, available to other clients and, and maybe use his methods. His mode of treating the disorder varies essentially from that which has been generally practiced. Now, the main form of treating yellow fever Dr. Benjamin Rush was the most preeminent physician uh, in Philadelphia. He wrote a whole uh, pamphlet on it, but he favored uh, bleeding, purging, vomiting, very violent to the system uh, for yellow fever, whereas Edward Stevens treated the symptoms. So if a patient had fever, he treated the fever and so on, and that is today what the standard medical advice is. So Edward Stevens really was effective, but because Hamilton was such a prominent Federalist at the time, and Dr. Benjamin Rush was such a prominent Democratic Republican and friend of Thomas Jefferson, this in fact turned into a political battle over which treatment would you use? And you'd have the Federalists following Edward Stevens' treatment and vice versa. So really fascinating, but the important thing is that Stevens was able to save both Hamilton and his wife.